having a policy for engagement with indigenous peoples at UNESCO was a great achievement after the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples because it really established how UNESCO will implement its programs related with indigenous peoples. My name is Mirna Cunningham. I'm from the Pawankafon, and I come from the indigenous peoples of Nicaragua. Links has been serving UNESCO and the world community for more than 20 years in helping to bring together in a complementary manner the knowledge of local communities, indigenous peoples, with science and scientific assessment. So our work is to look at how different types of knowledge complement each other and inform effective decision making. So how do we bring all of our different types of knowledge to serve the well-being of both the planet and humanity, people's aspira aspirations for development, as well as the need to conserve the natural resources with which we live? We're reaching out to indigenous and local people in several communities. They have observed the trends and changes on ecosystems and biodiversity changes. So we are basically engaging them taking them on board to make sure that their voice is heard. And we also um, engaging them in trialogues to make sure that the issues uh, that are faced by the local uh, communities are being brought into the assessment. So they have to be part of the decision making. And we are involving them at each and every implementation stage of the National Ecosystem Assessment. The elderly have information, the indigenous and local knowledge, but to transfer this knowledge to the younger generation, it's becoming difficult. And this is a policy issue because the coming in of democracy, education, has um, removed the interest from the younger generation to uh, actually uh, regard indigenous and local knowledge as an important aspect of uh, ecosystem and biodiversity management. So the issue here is uh, bringing together the indigenous and local knowledge, compiling it, make it available and accessible. Our goal is to raise awareness amongst indigenous peoples, local communities, but particularly government, that there has to be an enabling a policy environment that respects and supports indigenous and local institutions in the application of their knowledge, which requires inter alia security of tenure over the resources and territories, which is an element defined uh, under UN norms and standards. If the government take part in understanding the livelihood of these communities and put it down that they are not only uh, nomadic pastoralists, but the livelihood they live, the land use plan they have, which is traditionally own and which is traditionally give them mutual relation between the Maasai and the, live, and the wild animals, the government could put more initiative in protecting it. Our main message is that indigenous and local knowledge, which is held mostly in an oral system and passed from one generation to another, plays a critical role in understanding our natural world and also how humans live sustainably on the planet. And I think that's the main, that's the main goal of the policy, to have indigenous peoples participating, to listen to our voices, to define methodology together with us in the different areas of UNESCO's work.